hey ladies so it's time for a new video and this one here is before and after this is really not going to be inexpensive but it will be both inexpensive and some high-end product so the first thing I used was my Provise skin type 1 through 6 and I also moisturized my lips with my EOS lip balm and to prime my eyelids first I like to use the LA girl pro prep facial primer now I'm going to be using the LA girl eyeshadow primer in the color nude just to make those eyeshadow colors that I'm about to apply pop so let's get into that with a little scotch tape which will help make a crisper line it'll help the eyeshadow stay in place and not really stay in place but not fall out so one of my new products is the Too Faced natural matte palette and the first thing I'm going to use is the chocolate cookie color here I'm going to take that Sonia Kashuk brush and just sweep that all over the upper portion above my crease on my lid this is a really color brown. It's a great transition color, and you can basically find this color anywhere. It doesn't have to be by Too Faced, but this was part of my Valentine's Day gift, so I decided to use that. Now I'm going to go into the color called Heaven in that same palette, and that's just going to be my brow highlight. Normally, I'll use a darker color like an off-white or eggshell or like a matte kind of beige color, but I'm going to go ahead and use the color in the palette. The next color I'm going to be using in this awesome palette is called Honey Butter. I really wasn't like a huge fan of that heaven. I don't really like my highlight under my brows to be too bright, so I kind of toned it down. Now one of my favorites from Walmart is the Drew Barrymore collection and this is the Flowers Cosmetic. So I'm going to be using the eyeshadow cream called Wild Geranium and I'm just going to place that all on the lower portion of my eyelid with one of my Sonia Kashuk brushes. And this is just basically going to act as a eyeshadow primer. Or you can use it just as an eyeshadow primer or you can also use it as just an eyeshadow. Now I'm going to actually use my Laura Geller Blush and Brighten Blush in Sunswept. And I'm going to use that on my eyelids. It's blush, it's makeup, you can use it wherever you want. You don't have to just use it as blush. But it's a really pretty color. I just picked it up from Ulta and I thought it would be great for the look that I was going. So I decided to use that as an eyeshadow. As I've done this so um, in a couple of videos ago with the e.l.f. blush. So I just placed that all over the lower portion of my eyelid. And I'm going to go ahead and brush it in so there's no harsh lines. I just want it to look sun swept just like it's called. Now into the Too Faced palette again. I'm going to be using the color called Strapless. Which is more or less kind of like a brownish kind of pink. It's a really pretty color. I like this palette a lot. I love neutral colors. So a lot of my makeup that I like to use mainly every day is a neutral colors. They're just so easy to work with. Back into the chocolate cookie. I'm going to just go back over into my crease or a little bit above my crease. Just to get a pretty transition going. Like I said, this color is like a really pretty color. It's more or less, it reminds me of Max Soft Brown. And it's just so pretty. Um, the color is like, um, I would say like a very light, light brick red or rust color brown. Excuse me, a rust color brown. Now into the palette again with the color called Sex Sex Sexpresso. Sex it's like a dark, it's like a medium matte color brown. And I have this in another one of my Too Faced. One of my new favorite palettes is the go-to palette by NYX, the Wonderless palette. There are two palettes in this collection. They mainly all have um, contour, highlight, and blush, and then they have six shadows. But the two palettes are the same when it comes to the contour, blush, and highlight. Now I'm going to be using one of my favorite eye eyeliner gels, which is by Micah Beauty. And this is their black eyeliner gel. This stuff is so good. Like, I got this in my BoxyCharm monthly subscription box, like, forever ago. It does not dry out. It does not, like, get all hard and thick and sticky. It just, the consistency stays really well. And I've actually seen their kiosk in the mall. They have some really nice products. Um, but I do like their uh, black eyeliner gel. If I had to buy this again, I would definitely buy it. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, yeah, it's a very black color, and it does last the entire day, but it's a really great eyeliner gel. So now into one of my Milani eyeshadows, which is their Milani Fierce Foil Eyeshine. And this is the palette called, or the quad called Florence. And I'm just going to take that, and it's more or less like a creamy eyeshadow. And I'm just going to place that all over the top of my lower lid, 
just to give it a little shine, a little sheen. It's kind of glittery to me. So it does give good color, especially if it's over top another eyeshadow. But to use it alone, um, I probably wouldn't, but I like to use it placed on another eyeshadow. Now it's time for my face, and I'm going to go back into that LA Girl Pro Prep HD Facial Primer. I'm just going to place that all over my face, and then I'm going to use the Yellow Corrector by LA Pro Concealer, um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I love this concealer, um, especially the yellow. This is the only one I really use, and it's really good for brightening up underneath my eyes. Now it's time for my new favorite foundation by Too Faced, which is Born This Way Foundation. And I use the color Honey. I'm going to place only a pump and a half on the back of my hand and just place that on my face and blend it in with my flat buffer brush by Sedona Lace. I love their makeup brushes. They are like the absolute best brushes, especially if you want like some high-end brushes but you don't want to pay a lot. I would highly suggest getting to Sedona Lace. I'll place a link in the description box below. I have like a lot of their brushes. They last forever. Like this brush here I've had for a few years. Their brushes are like amazing. Like seriously amazing. They're great matte dupes. They're great Bobbi Brown dupes. They're just great brushes all in all. And I'm going to go ahead and use my ELF foundation stick in the color nude. This is just going to be for my highlight. This is a really great foundation. And I'm going to use one of the best sponges in the world, which is the Real Technique Beauty Blender sponge. I love this sponge. This is one of the best beauty blender sponges out on the market. And they're really affordable. You can pick them up at Ulta and also Walmart for $5.99. So I'm just going to blend that ELF foundation into my face and then I'm going to set it with my NYX Black Label Pressed Powder in Soft Beige. I like this better than the Ben Nye Banana Powder. It's just a little bit softer. It's not so yellow toned and it just doesn't dry my skin out. Now to contour, I'm going to go and use that Wonderlust Palette by NYX, which is a go-to palette. And this is the contour portion. This is a powder contour, which I really like. Powder contour is so much easier than cream and it just always comes out a lot better for me. So I'm going to go ahead and sweep that on with my Jumbo Fan Brush from Sedona Lace and then I'm going to also place it on the bridge of my nose with my Blending Brush from Sedona Lace. Like I said, they have really great brushes and I'll post the link below. Now onto my Tarte Smolder Eyes Eyeliner in Gold. Like I said, this is going to be a bronzy look so I'm going to use this pencil and then I'm going to smudge it in with the back of the pencil a little bit and then go into the inner tear ducts in that same NYX Wonderlust Go-To Palette in the lightest shade and just brighten up the inner portions of my eye. One of my favorite mascaras is Dose Punk Volumizer Mascara. This stuff is so like amazing. It really makes your lashes look big. Even though I do have individuals on, I still love this uh, mascara, especially because the wand, the bristles, the brush is so huge. So that's one thing I like about mascaras. I have to have like the perfect wand. Now to brush off that excess powder, I'm just going to go ahead and use my Sonia Kashuk brush and brush it off and just place a little bit more e.l.f. new um, foundation stick on my nose and into my Milani Press Powder Facial Powder. I'm going to go ahead and apply that and that is in the color Medium Tan and this is just going to blend in all the colors, the contour, the highlight in well so that way it doesn't stick out. And onto this amazing blush by Revolution Makeup London. And this is their Vivid Bronzer, which is called Rock On World. And I called it blush, but it's bronzer. It was $10 at Ulta. Oh my God, I freaking love this bronzer. It is so pretty and it is vivid. It is absolutely the best bronzer I've ever seen. I've never heard of this makeup company, but look at how bronzed I am. Like, this is my favorite bronzer right about now. I love to be bronzed. Like, seriously, I love it. Into the NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Kit, I'm using their Shimmer Highlight right here. And it's cream, so you have to make sure that your beauty blender is a little damp. And I'm just going to place that on my highlighted portions of my face, just so that way when the sun hits, I have a little sparkle going on. And I'm also going to use the highlight in the palette, the go-to palette by NYX as well, just for a little bit of added shimmer. 
Now as for my lips, I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in Plush Red. And this is more or less to me like a pinkish red. But either way, it's a pretty color red because I'm going to drown it out, like seriously drown it out with one of my not so used very much lipsticks, which is a by LA Girl and that's their Matte Velvet uh, Lipstick. And that's in the color Relentless right here. So I'm drowning out this lip liner. You won't even notice it. And you girls don't really see me use um, red that much because it's so hard for me to put on. But I did it this time. Now onto the hair. This is a unit that I made using Lily Beauty Hair from uh, AliExpress. And this is their kinky curly hair. I do have a video on YouTube of how I achieve this color, which is more or less like a balayage color. So I'm going to go ahead and... Put some mousse in my hair and situate myself and thicken my edges with my topic hair building fibers which gives you nice thick edges if your edges are thin or if you have any balding spots or if you don't and you just want edges to be thick enough to match your wig then i highly suggest that you see how magical it works look at those edges just fill in and they're really like little tiny hair fibers so it's not wet it's not a wet product but yes love this hair this is one of my favorite units and I was never like a huge fan of any type of kinky hair at all but with this one I'm really feeling so hope you enjoyed the video stay diva and delicious and I'll see you in my next video bye